Hello and welcome to another episode of Amstrad Live Game Coding here on the Game Hammer channel. I'm Zoe Kirk Robinson and this week, week 8 of our game programming, I'm hoping to be able to get an awful lot way I'll start again, an awful lot of the way through the coding where we've been putting together a text adventure game on the Amstrad CPC under Locomotive Basic and I think with a bit of work tonight we can get to the point where we're pretty much finished the game. So let's hope we can because I think we've got about 12k left on the disc. Let's get it and have a look at that, shall we? So if I just click over here, Control Shift Escape, and bring up the catalog, let's see what's on this disc. And yes, episode one is 29k. Well, the Amstrad CPC, if it's a 464, has 42k of available memory after basic and the other parts of the. Uh, uh, operating system and things are loaded in. It's got 64k of uh, RAM and you have 42k to play with but if you want to be able to use the disk drive which we do because we want this to be compatible with the, the 6616128 then you can only have 41k of available memory because an extra 1k is taken up by AMSDOS. Hello Yellowbelly, thanks for joining us and since we're here with episode 1.bas here the basic file bass being at 29k already, we've got to fit the rest of the game, which is basically half the game, in 12k. Now, thankfully, the majority of uh, what we've got here, the uh, 29k that we've got, is the background uh, stuff about the how to uh, how to move around the game, how to examine, pick up, drop, and things like that, which are going to be useful in the second part of the game. So I'm not too worried. I think we can fit the second half of this game in the, this 12k. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's load episode one. So, hello, Be Yellow Belly. How are you doing? I hope you're doing fine. Let's get my notes out. We've got a lot of uh, ground to cover tonight. And uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, CPC, the Amstrad CPC video magazine, episode eight went live about an hour ago. And if you hear drilling or hammering, it's my wife, she's up uh, in the attic building a model train set and she'll hate me for calling it model train set. She's building her own loft layout and you can find all about that on uh, her channel on YouTube where we've got uh, episodes of her updates going out every week. It's actually quite fascinating how well she's put this together. Anyway, uh, the uh, the game has loaded, so let's have a list. Yeah, we've got everything here. It's very much the same as it was last week, except I have added one thing in. If you notice, the menu screen at the start is now saying that uh, press S to start, press I for instructions, press L to load the save game as it was or before, or press T to read the thanks page. And uh, basically, if you've commented and uh, hung around in the chat while I've been making these videos and I've noticed you, I've been making notes of people who've turned up and you're all here being thanked. At least I hope you all. <laughs> if I've seen, then you're here. So I'm I'm, uh, I'm very thankful that you all turned up. Let's put it that way. It's been an in, it's been a great uh, success this uh, live stream. So let's get into it. We've got some work to do. I've got a note on my uh, set of uh, notes here. You know, a little nice pink. Uh, post-it note saying, need to finish code to put resistors in circuit, need to fix code for getting resistors out of the cardboard box. And then that's where we stuck last week. We'd spent an awful lot of time getting some uh, basic uh, bugs debugged and that uh, took up a lot of time. But uh, this time we've got this other issue, which to be honest with you we should have fixed before because I, when I was talking about it uh, just now I would remembered this is from a couple of weeks ago and I got really tired and I had to stop and that's why we didn't finish it. The cardboard boxing, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. So if we load the game, Syntax Error in 2000. Okay, that's new. It didn't do that before. What's wrong with that? I don't see a syntax error in 2000, and that wasn't there before. If I run episode 1.back, does that also do that? 
we've got a new bug here. If I load the save game, syntax error in 2000. So list 1900 to 2000. What's going on? Okay. We've got an in We've got a problem. What has gone wrong here? I don't get it. All of this should be fine. Hello Retro Mickey 82. I've been fine, thanks. How are you? And what We've got a bug where we can't load a game. And I'm not sure why. Because I haven't changed this line. Yeah, I have not changed any of this. There is no reason for any of this to be a problem. So I am going to um, load in one of our previous versions. I keep all of the previous versions uh, in my uh, Dropbox. So I bring up Dropbox and go to gaming. You're all seeing what I've got in here now. Which is not a huge amount of stuff, let's put it that way. Hello. Jen, are you on the live stream? Okay, well, Patrick is saying hi. Okay, let's jump to drive B. Oh, hang on. Where is it? Let's jump to drive... Okay. I appear to have crashed Java CPC. This is not going well, is it? Insert a disk. Insert. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, we have a crash, so that's... Um, yeah, nothing is working. That's odd. That's Sorry, guys. Uh, we seem to be having lots of issues today. Possibly because I've spent two days editing a massive uh, file and then haven't actually... Reset the computer since then. So I've just got to try and load up uh, Java CPC again. Although, to be honest with you, we don't need sound, so I could just use uh, CPC Box, uh, the website, if I needed to. Because that's a decent enough uh, CPC. But I like Java CPC, it's, uh, it's a good all-rounder. Okay. Let's try and just make this... Uh, I'm just uh, bringing up Java CPC. Here. Sorry about this, guys. I'm kind of floundering now. Right, let's hope this works. Okay, let's see if this is back on. Okay, you can see that, guys? You can see... Okay, hang on. Let's change the ROM settings. Bring up the 6128 again. Yep, that's back. And uh, drive sets. What's in the disk drives? That is episode 1. Run episode 1. Is that an incompatibility with... Oh my goodness. We have been programming on a 6128. Load, save game. I'm hoping that this... And we have a compatibility problem. This is the same file. This is the same game with the same file. And it didn't work on this 464. It said there was a syntax error. But it's working on the 6128. Okay, we're going to have to make a note of that. Check 464 compatibility. Okay, I made a note of that. We'll have to try that later on. Okay, so we have uh, uh, carrying a multi-tool, a crowbar, and a cardboard box. This is where we got up to last episode. If we exam... Uh, computer, isn't it? Machine. Exposed circuit. So examine circuit. 
The, ex the expo circuit appeared to be damaged, blah, blah, blah. Expo exam circuit. We get the circuit that we've got, which of course isn't working. And um, we've got the position A, B, and C, and all of that. Yellow Belly says the only thing online 2000 was the REM statement. I think you're right. If we took the REM statement out, they'll probably work. So, in fact, let's just do that. Let's, let's do that straight away, Yellow Belly. Let's 2000 to 2500. Blah, blah, blah. Do, 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 do. So, uh, one nine 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 rem room one edit two thousand take all of that out if we take the edit two zero nine zero take out the data there two zero eight nine rem room because I want to be able to go through these and make sure that works. Save episode one. Okay, we've taken the RAM statements off the end of those uh, lines. It should be okay. So it's just saving that. Right, run. Go back to it in a moment. Save that. So if we load in again, load a saved game. Our name is test. And everything's loaded and everything's fine. Okay, um, exam circuit. This is where we got to last time. We'd spent a lot of time making this work. We've got position A, B, and C tells us what's in them, which is why in positions A, B, and C we have X's instead of any uh, resistances. So, we have in our inventory a cardboard box. Exam the box. It's a small box made of cardboard, lightly designed to hold small items. The box contained and then a list of yeah, I think Yellow Belly's correct. Maybe the read command was trying to read the colon as a comma, which would have, of course, caused a problem. So we've taken that off. And hopefully that will work. And uh, we've got this list of resistors in the cardboard box. So let's get blue resistor from box. I was already holding that, but they're not already holding that. Drop box get blue resistor from box. I took a cardboard box. Here is the issue. So we need to look at the get code. Where is the get code? According to my list of uh, line numbers, it's at 10,170. That banging is Jen building something in the attic. So if you can hear that, that's what that is. So list 10170 to 10240. It's a whole of the get code. Blah, blah 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 <laughs> I can't see it. I can't see what we need to see. Uh, 10229 says go to 9070. List 9070. What's there? Aha! That's the bit about the front box. So, list 9070 to 10,000. Okay, uh, very, very short. So, um, it's not if D string equals right, blah, 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 then goes. That's got it. Right, so that should all work. The bit that jumps to this particular section where we're talking about getting something from the cardboard box, that should all work. So we need to look at the previous code because it's not getting that, is it? It's doing something else. To 10240. T equals 1 to number of objects if of a string.
Okay, we've got an interesting bit here. Um, for some strange reason, it's uh, this uh, code is telling us that it's picking up the cardboard box, not the resistor from the box. So what I'm going to do is put a quick piece of uh, extra code in on line 10181. Print B string. I want to know what the computer thinks where currently you're going to be checking for in that loop to find where it's checking with what we typed in against the name of the objects and we're going to put one extra little bit in on uh, that line that we went to 9070 I think it was yes okay list 9070 to 10,000 again let's have a look at what we've got here okay if we put in 9075 print B string Let's see where it gets to. Let's see where in this code for getting something out of the cardboard box we're actually getting to before it decides that it will just try to pick up the cardboard box. Okay, drop box. Get red resistor from box. Red resistor from box, I took a cardboard box. It's not even jumping to the code to check what's in the box. Okay. All right, that's fine. So, we now know that uh, red resistor from box is the only thing that it's checking. So, let's just do a quick thing. Let's move the code to jump to that other bit, 9070, and Let's uh, put that further up the, the get code. 10170 to 10240. Where is that bit? Where do we find that bit about the box? Okay, go to 9070 is just there. Okay, so 10170 to 1. Zero two two zero. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Right. Where? <laughs> okay. One zero one eight one. Let's go jump to this, and instead of print and B string, let's put go to nine zero seven zero. So we just do that. Early on, um, one zero one seven one zero two four zero. Let's then remove the later on bit where we just send it to there. Edit one zero two two eight. Okay, then move, remove one zero one zero two two nine. Just take that out and uh, list 10170 to 10240 to do a few things. Uh, yeah, 10181 won't work like that. 10181 should be go. 10181 should be go to 9070. 10182 should be 40 equals one to number of objects. Okay, so we need to go to one zero one eight two. And it's nine zero seven two. Else go to one zero one eight two and blah 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 blah. Edit 9100, change that to 10182. That should work all of the code out now. So if we save as episode 1, and that should, that should sort it out because now we're defaulting to checking the uh, thing, to checking whether we're getting something from the box rather than just picking something up in general. 
Okay, and since we haven't changed anything to do with the flags or the number of objects or locations or anything like that, we can just load this game and that should be fine. Test. Exam box. Drop box. Drop the cardboard box. Get box. Took the cardboard box. Drop box. Exam box. All still working. Get red resistor from box. I took the red resistor from the cardboard box. Inventory. Carrying a multi tool crowbar red 1000 ohm resistor. Exam box. Now it doesn't have the, the red resistor in the box. Guys, we've just solved it. We've There it is. We've just solved it. So let's make another quick check. We'll go south. Uh, drop resist, red resistor. I dropped the red 100 ohm, 1000 ohm resistor. There we go. There we are. Uh, we now have the red resistor in the room. Get red resistor. Took the red resistor. Get blue resistor from box. I took the blue resistor from the car. No! The box isn't in the room. <laughs> now we have another problem. So we've just been able to take a blue 1000 ohm resistor out of a cardboard box that is not in the same room. So we have another issue now. So, but it's all right, we can, we're getting there, 9070 to 10,000. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. So, edit uh, 9075, Inst let's use this then. Instead of printing what we're looking at for there for the, the code, um, if OBJPOS no nine zero seven five that would never have worked because we jump it we we jumped to nine ninety eighty okay edit nine zero eight zero if object position OBJPOS percent for Object. Which one's the ob which one's the cardboard box? Object cardboard box is eight. So that's now greater than current room percent. Then print I could not see the box. Go to three one eight zero. Else, that should work. No, edit nine zero eight zero. We don't want the cup on oh, that. Or OBG. Actually, let's do this another way around because it's much, much easier. Let's take that back out, all of that. What we need to do is to make sure that the uh, object position is equal to the current room. If OBG POS of 8 equals current room percent or OBJ POS percent 8 equals minus 1, which is the inventory, Then blah blah blah. Go to nine zero nine zero. Else pen three print. I could not see the card board box. Go to three one eight zero. Blah blah blah. Three one eight zero. Yes. Okay. That should work. Save episode one. And there we are. Okay, we should have solved this issue now. So let's just quickly uh, do if not save to the hard drive. Run. Let's hope this works. Let's hope this works. So we should now 
be doing a check to make sure that the cardboard box exists in the room or in the inventory. Inventory. Get red resistor from box. Took the red resistor from the cardboard box. Drop box. Exam box. What else is in the box? Uh, there's a blue resistor. So if it goes south, get blue resistor from box. Now, this shouldn't work because the box is to the north. I could not see the cardboard box. There we are. Drop red resistor. Get red resistor. I took a red 1000 ohm resistor. So we've solved that problem. Now we're getting somewhere. So we can tick that off. We need to fix the, the finish the code to push resistors in the circuit. So if we go north, exam circuit. Okay, get burned from circuit. I took a burned resistor from position A on the circuit. Put red resistor in circuit. Red resistor. I could not find a red resistor. Because that's the, ah, that's the put command. We never took the uh, error correction out of the put command. Right. That's what we need to do now. So, we're getting somewhere, and we're almost finished this puzzle as well. Uh, Patrick is saying, how do we sub to your Patreon? Uh, good question, Patrick. Um, let's bring up the website. It's real quick. Uh, I believe it's uh, patreon.com slash Zoe. Yeah. The, uh, I'm not very good with this, guys. Uh, if Patrick, uh, guys, if you want to sub to the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Zoe Kirk Robinson. I'll put a, a link in the chat, chat room for you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There you go, Patrick. That's how you do it. But you don't have to. As always, this uh, show is free, and so the other ones, so don't worry about it. But if you want to help out, it's much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, now we have to deal with the put command. And that is at uh, line 12,400, put in the circuit code, is what I've got written down here. You're welcome, Patrick, no problem. Uh, list 12400 to 13000. 12,400 to 13,000. Oh my goodness, we have a lot of stuff here. So, first of all, we're using the puck. Um, first of all, I need to find out where it's printing that line. That's, that's just, there it is, it's in 12410. Edit 12410. Are you guys okay reading this pink code? I can change it to yellow if you prefer. So let's take out that print command because we know it's keeping the bit that we need. Actually, that's pen three. Yeah, it's better with yellow. And so we've taken out the, the bit that's telling us what, what uh, B string is because we know that that's correct. We never got down to the bit that says hi. I'm not even sure why that's there. I can't remember what we were doing for that. So. I could not see a blah blah blah. Not if it's appropriate to do that because that's the. Uh, whether you're carrying the multi tool or the multi tool is in the area. It's not doing the bit that's. Let's go back to the, the game and see what the error actually is that it's presenting. Load a save game. Test. Get red resistor from box. Get burned stuff from circuit. Took a burned resistor from position A on the circuit. Put box in circuit. That was too big to fit in the circuit. Put red resistor in circuit. I could not find a red resistor, but it's in my inventory, so why can't it see it? 
There it is in the inventory. Red 1000 ohm resistor. So, I could not find a red resistor. List 12400 to 13000. Where is that line? I could not... Interesting, it's not showing anything. Okay, if upper string of object string T1 equals B string, then C% percent equals T. Next T. But if C% percent is 0, which it should be because we set it in the previous line, then it's saying I could not find a and then thing. So, we have a situation where it's not recognising what we're asking for. <laughs> Why is it asked doing that? That's weird. And I don't quite get it. Well, so, according to that, Let's just uh, edit 1241. This may be a simple thing of the if then thing without an else. Else t equals t. Let's just see if that works. Run. Sometimes it's just a simple case of uh, you've used an, a then in an if check, so it needs an else. It's getting warm in here, my goodness. Okay. Get red resistor from box, so we're getting the red resistor. I could not see a red resistor. Exam box. It's there. Drop box. Get red. Took the red resistor from the cardboard box. Oh, I was just saying get red resistor. That yeah. Okay, get burned resistor from circuit. Took a cardboard box. Okay, we have an issue. Get burned resistor from circuit. I was already holding that. Guys, do you do you ever get the feeling that this game is doing this on purpose? Now we've got the cardboard box problem again. I don't believe this. So, we've got to sort out this get command again, because apparently that's not working now. Oh dear. Right, let's go back to the get code, 9070 to 10,000. Yeah, yellow belly's correct. It doesn't want the coding to end, so it's playing tricks on you. I do not understand. We had this working. I have changed one line in a separate piece of code about putting something into something else, and now the get from something command doesn't work. This is why I didn't go into professional game design. This, this is it. I don't know why this isn't working. If D string equals from box, then go to 9080, else go to 10182. I just don't get it. It 
at 9080 print b string plus full stop. Let's just make sure what we know what's going on here. While we're on the subject list 12400 to 13000. Edit one two four one zero. Print that's that's B string print B string plus full stop. Let's see what it thinks we're using here. Load test. Get burned resistor from circuit. I took a burned resistor from position A on the circuit. Drop burned resistor. Drop box. Get red resistor from box. Red resistor from box. I took the red resistor from the cardboard box. Now it's working. Get box. Drop box. Exam circuit. Okay. Get charred resistor from circuit. Took a charred resistor from position B on the circuit. Now it's all working again. And we have done nothing but add in a line of text that says get... <laughs> uh, sorry, not get. That says print what uh, the current command is onto the screen. Get blue resistor from box. Blue resistor from box. Okay. Put blue resistor in circuit. Blue resistor, hi. I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't understand. Nine zeros, less nine zeros. But I'm going to take it because, uh, let's face it, we don't need to worry if it's uh, actually working. Is it nine zeros, eight, eight zero? Let's take out the bit where it prints the. Uh, what we've printed as the command because we know that it's working list 12400 to 13000 okay edit 12410 okay print b string plus the full stop because we don't need to know that anymore we know that it is correct. The command that we typed in, it is getting the right bit. So save episode one. There is no reason why that would have worked there because uh, let's face it, we've done it. Has anyone ever rage quit basic coding on YouTube before? Maybe first coming up. <laughs> Yellow Belly, I am not quite that bad, I hope. Okay, we saved that because it's working. save so we now know that if we're trying to put the red resistor into the circuit we need to uh, know what it's doing because we've got it at the moment to print high and then stop which is great that's exactly what we want print B string because uh, blue resistor okay right we've done the check we've checked that uh, we're in the room for the circuit We've checked that uh, the thing is in the the uh... hang on. We haven't checked that we're in the room with the circuit, have we? Um, if uh, yeah, we we checked that the uh, object is in the location. We've checked that the multi tool is in the location. We've checked that the object is one of the resistors, otherwise it's going to be too big. We have not checked that we are in the room. Yeah, we haven't checked. So, 12450, if the current run percent is greater than or less than, what room do we need to be in? I think it's four, isn't it? Yes, four, the computer control room. Then print 
I could not see a circuit. Else go to no circuit and go to three one eight zero. Else go to one two four six zero. Okay. Print which position on the circuit? A, B, or C? Input P dollar two four six zero. Seven zero. So what I'm doing now is asking which position on the circuit I want to put the resistor into. And I've input that into P string because we haven't uh, used that yet. If P string equals blank, then print. Okay. I decided not to put the decide not to put a plus lower string b string because we still know what uh, we set in before into the circuit go to 3180 so that's uh, that's deciding well uh, That's the uh, what I've done there. If p string equals blank, then print that. Is uh, when prompted to say which position they want the player wants to put the uh, resistor into, uh, they've instead just pressed uh, return. Then I texted him back to the uh, what now prompt. Basically, just as a thing in case you decide actually I don't want to do that, you can just press enter and it'll go back to the game. So now we need to go through all of the checks. Uh, 12470, 480 even. If, hang on, uh, let's do one thing. Edit 12470. P string equals upper string P string. We just need to make sure it's in the right uppercase. We've got that first. I don't do four eight zero. That doesn't change the uh, bit about p string equals blank. So now we can do the our uh, normal if checks. If p string equals a, then go to one two four nine zero. Else go to one two four a one. Four a one. If p string equals B, then go to one two. I don't know yet, so we're gonna leave it at one two four nine zero. Else go to one two four eight two. One two four eight two. If P string equals C, then go to one two four nine zero. We'll have to change these later on. Else go to one two four eight three. One two four eight three. Print that was not an available position on the circuit. Only positions A, B, and C needed to be repaired. Go to. 3180. Just as a quick make sure that this uh, is working. Basically, uh, if uh, instead of pressing A, B, or C, you put 1 or X or anything, then we need to be make sure that uh, we have an appropriate response for that. So there we are. 12490 print. We'll come back for this later. 
to 3180. Okay, we'll deal with that in a moment. So let's save. No, that's actually, let's run it and make sure this works. Load. File name is test. Loaded. Okay. Get red resistor from box. Took the red resistor from the cardboard box. Put red resistor in circuit. Which position on the circuit? Um, F. That was not an available position on the circuit. Only positions A, B and C needed to be repaired. So we know that that works. Put red resistor in circuit. Which position on the circuit? Enter. I decided not to put a red resistor into the circuit. Now we need to put some... Uh, we need to have a space. So if we go back to the code that we've just done. Where are we asking for the position? Okay, 12460. So if we edit 12470 and just put a print there, then that gives us the space that we need on the screen for that. So let's put in the bit now 12490 for checking what's in position A when we get to it. Okay. One, two, four, nine, zero. Four T equals one, two, number of objects. If OBJ POS, hang on, no, we don't need to do for T equals one, do we? Because we know that's it's uh, from 9 to 17. For t equals 9 to 17. And we need to do a quick check. Uh, let's call this uh, f dollar equals 0. For t equals uh, 9 to 17, BJPOST equals, and we're doing position A, so it's uh, minus 10. So if the position of the object is minus 10, then F, not dollar, percent, F percent equals 1. Next, T. One, two, four. Two five zero zero. Okay. If F percent equals one, ah, no, let's do this a little bit differently. I was just going to have this as a quick check to say um, that position is taken up by blah 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 blah. But we don't want to do that. Edit one, two, four, nine, zero. then f percent equals t. Next, t. No, actually, it's edit one, two, yeah. One, two, five, zero, zero, for f percent equals zero. For t equals nine to 17, if object percent T equals minus 11, then F percent equals T. Next, T. 1, 2, 5, 1, 0. I'm going to do all this again. And this time, instead of 11, it's going to be 12. Then F percent equals T. Next, T. 1, 2, 5, 2, 0. Rem, back to set. Edit one two four nine zero. We need to go down to one two five two zero. Next T, go to one two five two zero. Edit one two five zero zero. Go to one two five two zero. Edit one two five one zero. Technically, we don't need that, but in case we put anything else in later, we'll come back to it. Okay. 
list 12400213000. So now we know where all of the positions that we need to jump to are from when we've asked for A, B, and C to be put in. Edit 12481. Instead of jumping to there, we go to 12500. Yeah. Edit 12482. Helps I can spell 82510. It's really warm in here, my goodness. 510. Okay, so they now all move. So, what I've just done there is a quick check between uh, object number 9 and object number 17. If its position is minus 10, minus 11, or minus 12, then that object is in the circuit in position A, B, or C, respectively. So, that's just what we've done there. One, two, Five two zero. If f percent is greater than zero, then print that position on the circuit was already filled. A plus object string. I think it's called object string, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. String um, F percent comma one was fixed in there. Go to three one eight zero. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Else. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I, I hope I'm not coming down with something else. Go to 12530. I can't remember, did we earlier on in this bit find out what the... Uh, what the uh, object number was. Yes, we did. C percent. Okay, so we do we do know what know what the number of the object is that we're asking this to be. So one two five three zero. OBJ POS. C percent if P string equals A then OBJ POS C percent equals minus 10 print I fixed the plus lower string actually object dollar uh, c percent comma one plus uh, into position a on the circuit using the multi tool go to 3180, else go to 12540. 540, that's pretty much the same thing that we're going to be doing there, only we're going to be putting it into uh, position B, and we'll deal with that in a moment. 550, should be position B. That's minus 11. Yellow Belly says, I just noticed your new video has Dark Star on the thumbnail. I loved that game back in the day. You know what, Yellow Belly? So did I. It's a great game, as I've uh, said in the review of it uh, in that video. Um, yeah, I'm glad I was uh, I had a chance to review it so early on CPC, and actually. It's only episode 8. So I'm happy about that. Uh, let's keep 
going with this. One, two, five, five, zero. We're almost done with this, actually, funnily enough. Providing it works. If it doesn't work, well, then we're going to be here for a while. Patrick says, I want to be here for a long while, Zoe. Well, to be honest with you, I want to be here a while tonight as well. I want to be able to finish as much of this as possible. I really would like to have the game finished tonight, but I have a feeling that we're not going to get that far. Go to 3180. Okay, save that. Episode 1. So what I've, what I've done there is I've put on the end of that a catch-all term, basically. I've, I was unable to fix the circuit at this time. We should never see that error. Save episode one, memory full. We have a problem. Can anyone remember what you have to print to find uh, how much free RAM you've got? Because we've just got an issue. Memory full. We filled, I don't know how, but we filled the CPC's memory. We have a problem. We have a big problem, guys. One moment, I just need to find a magazine. Okay, guys. Issue 1 of Amstrad Computer User, or CPC 464 User, as it was called then, because this has something about... Huh, there's the bit about the memory pool. Yeah, we should be open. Right. Right, here we are. What I need to print Okay, we haven't, according to this, according to what I've just typed there, that's the, um, that's how much me memory we should have left. Uh, Yellow Belly saying, does Java CPC have a 6128 mode for more memory? Then when complete, we can start whittling it down. Well, actually, Yellow Belly, we're actually running this in Java CPC 6128 mode. The problem is, even on the CPC 6128, unless you're running a bank switching program, uh, then unless you're using a bank switching program, then you still only have 64k to play with. So we have a really big problem here. Kind of where I've just typed there, we have 9,628 bytes of uh, memory space left. Just under 10k, which is what my calculation was earlier on. But we now have memory full. So if I just 12560, if I just take that out, 
take that line out. Please tell me we can save episode one. Memory f Oh no! Guys, we've run out of memory! We've run out of memory! And Patrick says, it looks like the bytes taken by the disk drive ROM is preventing an effective save. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're right, Patrick. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do, guys. If I run this, will it work? So the, the code's there. Load a save game. Test. The code is there. Everything's here. It's all here. Um, get red resistor from box. Could not see a red resistor. Inventory. The box is there. Took the red resistor. Ah, I could not see a red resistor. I thought I'd typed resistor, but I hadn't. I've typed red resistor. Resistor from the cardboard box, that's fine. Put red resistor in circuit. Gonna ask me which position? It's position A. I fixed the red resistor into position A. No, you didn't. <laughs> so, the code that we just typed doesn't work anyway. <laughs> Guys. What is, what has my life come to? Oh my goodness. This chair's aching and it's creaking as well. What can we do to get around this? What can we do? Right, let's bring up uh, the website, the CPC wiki. Come on, come on, load up, load up. It's one of the issues with the CPC wiki. It's a lovely resource, but sometimes it's a bit slow. What I need from here is the high mem command. Come on, come on, come on. Technical information about locomotive basic. That sounds good. Uh, find high mem. No, that's is that all right? Wrong page. Let's just go back to locomotive basic. I need to know about high mem. Where is it? Where is it in the list? Okay, if we use the memory command, can we uh, just move move this? Can we just move the memory? Uh, address of the highest byte it may use. Basic only uses the first 64k of memory. So if I... If I type high mem, what will it tell me? Four two six one nine. Okay, high mem is at four two six one nine, which is what the six one two eight should have. So, can so we. But we can't have got to 42619 because we haven't got that much. Because that should be the highest byte we can move it to, then, shouldn't it? So if I type that as the, at the start of this listing 1 to 100, blah, 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 official setup of arrays. If I type in number 7, memory, that is the thing, isn't it? The command is memory. If I type in memory 42619, run. 
Then nothing's changed. We're still going to have the issues that we had. Save episode one. Guys, oh, I'm sorry for clapping straight in the microphone. Yes. By using the memory command and telling the, the basic that the absolute highest amount of bytes that we can use is 42619, it's saved. Okay, quickly, let's save this drive before anything happens. There we are. So, quick check. Um, yes, because 42619 is the... Thank you, Roberto, uh, excellent CPC scene 8. Thank you so much, I'm, gl I'm glad you enjoyed it. It took a lot of editing. I've basically spent the last two days in this room editing. Oh. From now on, with CPC, I'm going to be editing in chunks over the course of the month. That way we'll have it out on time and it won't be as big a, a job. But, um... Because what I've just done there with the memory and set the highest byte that uh, we can use for the program to the absolute highest amount that we can go to before we start eating into the memory used by the ROM, we've now got the maximum amount of saved space. We should have... I should have thought of this earlier because I've been trying to use the full 42K. And because the CPC 6128 has a lower, higher memory of the first 64K block than the 464 does, it means it should be compatible with both the 464 and the 6128. Which means that we shouldn't have an issue either of accidentally overwriting the uh, block of memory for the disk drive. I hope so anyway. Hang on. Let's quickly check this. Where's that bit about memory blocks gone? Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're alright. So I'm going to put the magazine back. Okay. Right. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we are we almost lost everything there. Right. Save episode one. Guys <laughs> Okay, we're okay. But we have an issue, don't we? We have one issue and that is that uh from what we just did it, when we're checking the resistor, it appeared that we could just put the um the red resistor into the same position as as something that was already in the uh, circuit so that's not good so what I'm going to do now is take a quick break to go and get another can of coke my goodness I am boiling in here and then when we when I come back we will work out what's going wrong here uh yeah episode one we're now at 30k that's possibly why we had we're starting to run into memory issues we have 11k left guys 11k to write to fix this bug and write the rest of the game think we can do it i hope so i'll be back back in like two minutes yeah i'm fine how are you yeah i'm gonna have a coke do you want one
getting back to work. Right, guys. Oh, that's better. Cold can of cork on the uh, the vents and arteries. Oh, calls you straight down. Right, what uh, what problem do we have again? Oh, yes, we have a crashed spaceship and a an arbiter who can't get off a planet. So, load save game. My name is Test. So, examine circuit. Okay, we have a burned resistor in position A on the circuit. So, we get red resistor from box. Took the red resistor from the cardboard box. Put red resistor in box. Sorry, I didn't understand that. We need to work that out. Add, put, code, so can put resistors in box. Now, that might be uh, something that we add, providing we have some uh, space left in the memory, but uh, at the moment you can't put anything back in the box. I'm sorry, I didn't understand the blah 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 blah. Put red resistor in circuit. Which position on the circuit? A. I fixed the red resistor into position A on the circuit using the multi-tool. But the burned resistor is already in that position. Inventory, we're not carrying... And the red resistor is still in our inventory. Exam circuit. In the position is burned resistor. So, so what's happening here is the position uh, marker is not being changed for the red resistor. So at least we know what's going on. List 12400 to 13,000. Okay, edit 12411. Next T. Print C%. I need to know what's uh, going on there. So let's go back to this. We need to know what C% percent is set at because I'm pretty sure it should be set at something by that by the point that we end that for next loop because that is the number that we're using to check everything else. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Nine. So C percent is nine at that point. Nine is the red resistor. Fix the res resistor into position A on the circuit. So, C% percent is correct. Why isn't it finding... Print object, object position of... Um, that's the burned resistor in uh, position, isn't it? Of, uh, burned resistor is 15. Minus 10. So, print over JPO s percent of 9 minus 1 so we have a situation where the uh, position is not being changed of the red resistor but we're getting told that the red resistor has been put in position A and we're not flagging up the something is already in that position error message so we need to change that <coughs> Okay, let's do that. Uh, list one two four zero zero to thirteen thousand. Okay.
all of them are going to want to find it. That's why. Edit one, two, four, eight, one. Found. I found the issue. Okay, Roberto. See you later. I think I found the uh, problem. I've changed all the wrong things. <laughs> one, two, five, zero, zero. Else go to one, two, four. Eight two. Edit one two four eight two. Then go to one two five one zero. Else go to one two four eight three. We changed all the wrong things. See you later, Roberto. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, let's. I think this will work now. Save episode one. Memory flow! Don't do this to me! No! Oh my goodness! Why is the memory full the moment I try to do No! The memory can't be full! What was the memory thing again? Wait, what number? 1. I don't know what's wrong. We've now got to the point where we're so far into the memory that running the program and then saving works, but listing the program, making some changes and then saving doesn't work. That's weird. But at least we get to save, and that's, that's the main thing. Uh, yeah, we're on 30k. So, hopefully this will work. Run. Because what I've actually done is I've changed the go-to commands to the wrong way around. So, if we load a save game. Our name is test. Get red resistor from box. Put box in circuit. Too big to put in the circuit. Put red resistor in circuit. Which position on the circuit? A. I fixed it. Okay, fixing the red resistor into position A. That. No, 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 no. One, two, four. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get why it's doing that. So, edit one, two, four, one, one. Let's first of all take that print command out since we know that C percent is correct now. Um, list one two four zero zero to one three zero zero zero. Okay, uh, position A, B, or C. Okay. Right. So, what we've got here is an... Okay, we have a, a weird, weird thing. One, two, four, eight, zero to thirteen thousand. I don't get what's going wrong. Okay, so we got uh, at the top of the screen. Uh, where's the mouse? Where, where I'm circling with the big mouse here. We've got here what the input is. If uh, input is A, B, or C, then goes to certain points in the code. 
If it's position A goes to 12490, if position B goes to 12500, if position C it goes to 12510, and if it's none of those, it says that was not an available position, blah blah blah, and then it goes excuse me, back to the uh, what's next loop. So position A, which is the one that we're, we're trying out, goes to 12490, where we set f% percent to 0, and then do a for next loop. For t equals 9, which is the uh, object number, uh, which is the item number of the red resistor, to uh, 17, which is the item number of the fried resistor, if the position of that object is minus 10, which is position A on the circuit, then set f% percent to t, which is the object number that we're talking about at the time. And then go on to the next object until it's uh, all done. Then once all that's done, go to line 12520. 12520 then says if... <sighs> I'm glad I read this through and talked it through to you. Because what, what I want uh, line 12520 to say is uh, if... Um, f% is 0, then print an error message saying that there there is some, then not print, no, if f% is 0, then we can fit something into that position because nothing's there. But what I've actually said is uh, if f% doesn't equal 0, put something in there. So, if I go to edit 12520 and change this greater than sign to an equal sign, then all of our problems should be solved. Save episode one. Memory full, we can't save it. So if I run the game and then close this and save episode one, then it saves. I don't know why this is. There's something in the CPC's memory when it gets to large uh, basic things, it doesn't like to save. Save. Okay, um, run. Okay, we're running load. Sorry, I'm just getting loads and loads of uh, messages coming up on my phone about CPC, and people seem to be really enjoying this one, so I'm very happy. Okay, uh, hi, Old Scar Gaming. I I didn't see you come in, so hi, welcome welcome to the show. Apparently, you're in two two streams at the same time. That's that's pretty hardcore. No one can live at that speed. How are you coping with the language? So, I think we've got it now. Get red resistor from box took the red resistor put red resistor in circuit in position A that position on the circuit was already filled A was fixed in there ok we have an error there put red resistor in circuit which position on the circuit? B that position was already filled Put red resistor in circuit. Which position on the circuit? C. That position was already filled. Excellent. Now we're getting somewhere. Pen 3. List 1, 2, 4, 0, 0 to 13,000. Can't believe we have to run the game just to be able to save the game. That's weird, but I'll take it. Okay, where is the error? That's, uh, that position was already a... Should work. Okay. Edit one two five two zero. I'm just gonna try something. A string equals print a string. your voice monkey jesus's and your voice are on different sound spectrums so it's pretty okay oh in that case i have a challenge does he have a deeper voice than me because i could change it and then really confuse you <laughs> we could try all the uh, all fan uh, levels of the spectrum and see what happens 
I probably couldn't do that. I, I, I cannot back that up. I can only do certain spectrum uh, frequencies. Okay, so what I've just done here is... Uh, yeah, he's very... Oh, Barry White's Dow Deep, is it? Well, I can't really do that. It would hurt my chest. Um, what I'm trying to do is make sure that we have the right... I'm sure it is object string, isn't it? Print object string, let's say 15 comma 1. Burned resistor. So, yeah, object string. Okay, let's see if that, uh, instead of printing everything direct to screen, I've uh, set it to a string and then told the computer to print the string. So run that. Uh, load test. I hope this works. Get red resistor from box. Put red don't in circuit. Position on circuit A. Okay, it's not working. But since we're running low on memory, let's take out the little niceties. Let's just say that position was already filled in the circuit, not add anything else in. Edit 12520. Okay. Then print. That position on the circuit was already filled. And let's just take out all the other bits and not mess about. Okay. So if there is something already in there, then that position on the circuit was already filled. List one two five two zero two one three zero zero zero. Bam 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 bam. Right. So we now know what's going on. One two five six zero. There is no one two five six zero. So. What we need to know now is, uh, I need to now look at the, the uh, print circuit on the screen code. I need a certain thing. So 12560 is the next thing that we need. That is the line number that I need. So I need to look at the code for printing the circuit on the screen now, which is 12100. 12100. This 121002. Um, one two three zero zero. Okay. List one two one zero zero to one two two zero zero. Two zero actually. Okay. need that code somewhere else. Okay. Um, what I need to do now is um, one two one edit one two one two zero. I'm going to do a quick uh, thing that uh, wouldn't normally have to happen. If check resistance, no, let's just put CR. If CR percent equals one, then return else print. And we need that. So, um, one, two, five. Six zero. List one 
list one two one zero zero two one two 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 zero one two one 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 that's it okay one two what I've just done there is a quick and dirty check I've already got the code for calculating the resistances across the circuit it's in the code for examining the circuit and printing all of that on screen so uh, I'm just going to reuse that and then deal with something else so yeah that should work Yes, that will work. One two five six zero. Um, CR percent equals one. Go sub one two one one one. CR percent equals zero. List one two one zero zero to one two. Three zero zero. I need now to know what the equation was. Go through all the circuit. Okay. According to my multi-tool, the current resistance across the circuit was print RT. RT is what I need. That is exactly what we need. So RT, we have uh, already used the code for determining the resistance across the circuit. We need the resistance to be 464. You may realise why I've chosen the, the total resistance across the circuit to need to be 464. Just a nice little Easter egg there. So I need to now put that into, uh, into fruition with this. List 1, 2, Five zero zero to thirteen thousand. Right, so one two five seven zero. If RT equals four six four, then set the uh, set the flag to one two one one one. Then set the flag to one two one one one. computer fault? Flag five. Then flags percent five. equals one print with a loud hum the circuitry linked the circuitry uh, word back to life go to 3180 else go to 3180 okay run save episode 1 I think it's clearing something in the memory whenever we uh, run this and I don't know why yeah we're now still at 30k so that's good drive save I hope this works um, run so we need to get this uh, the, the circuitry across uh, the we need to get the resistance across the circuit to um, 464 ohms exam circuit at the moment it's not 464 ohms. Get burned resistor from circuit. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Position A. Position A. No, it isn't. It isn't already filmed. Filled inventory. Calling a multi tool crowbar, carpet box, red resistor, and a burned resistor. Exam circuit. There's nothing in uh, position A. So put red resistor 
in circuit. In position A. A position on the circle was already filled. No, it's not. It really, really isn't. It really isn't. Print F percent. F percent zero, so it shouldn't be. List one two four zero zero to thirteen thousand. Why is it not doing this correctly? Edit one two four eight zero. F percent equals zero. Let's start saving a bit of memory. Edit one two four nine zero. Edit one two five zero zero. Because now we don't need to set this uh, to zero all three times. We've done that once. Five one zero. And that'll save us a little bit of memory. But we know f percent is zero, so this should work. We're doing the checks every single time. Edit one two four nine zero. Print checking. Position A. We're just going to put that in there for the moment. Run. See whether we're actually getting to check position A or whether it's jumping straight to something else. Load. Test. Get burned resistor from circuit. Drop burned resistor. So now its position is 4. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. In position A. Checking position A. Now position on circuit was already filled. No it isn't. Because the burned resistor is... Um, the burned resistor is object 15. So if I print... Object position percent of 15, it is 4. If I print object position percent of uh, the red resistor, which is 9, it is minus 1. So if the burned resistor is in position 4, which means it's in the room, then it's not in position minus 10, which means it can't have set the thing. So, I don't get it, but we'll keep going. So, so on the line one, two, four, nine, zero, which is the one that we're doing which is definitely jumping to because we got the line that said checking position A for T equals 9 to 17 which is uh, you know what let's just change that edit 1 2 5 0 0 no edit 1 2 4 9 0 for T equals 8 let's just make sure that we're going through them all because it won't matter if we're checking the position of the uh, ton of the cardboard box. For t equals 8 to 17, 17 being the fried resistor, if the object position of t is minus 10, then set f percent to t other. That's why we've got an if check with a then with a then in it, but no else. Else T equals T. This'll be it, won't it? Edit one, two, five, zero, zero. Same thing here. If then it's gonna have an else. 
because we put an else, else t equals t. Edit one, two, five, one, zero, else t equals t. Run. Load. Our name is test. Get burned resistor from circuit. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Which position? Position A. Check in position A. That position? No, it's not. It's not filled. There's nothing in it. Exam circuit. There is nothing in position. <laughs> hey, there's nothing there. It's it's empty. If I if I come out there, pen three, right? For t equals one to seventeen, print OBJ POS percent t next t. Oh look, none of them are in minus ten. Not one of them is in my is in position minus ten. So why is it setting this off? List one two four zero zero to thirteen thousand. I have made a massive, massive mistake. What we're doing is setting F% percent to 0 at the start and then checking where the objects are. If the object... <laughs> you'll love this. If the object is in the circuit we're changing the value of f% percent from 0 to something else, the number of the object. We're then running a check saying, if f% percent equals 0, tell the player that the position on the circuit is filled. But f% percent will be 0 if the position is empty. So we've been fretting for an awful lot for no real reason. 1, 2, 5, 2, 0. If f% percent greater than or less than 0, then print that position on the circuit was already filled. Else continue. Run. Load a save game. Test. We may have got this. We may be close to getting somewhere now. Get burned resistor from a circuit. Get a red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Which position? Position A. I fixed the red resistor into the position A on the circuit using the multi-tool. Uh, is line 12500 actually running or is the go-to in the previous line bypassing it? A bit of both there, TVGC77. Hi, by the way, I didn't uh, see you come in. Um, line 12500 is only being run if we select to place a resistor in position B. And 12510 is only being run if we elect to place a resistor in position C. Otherwise, they're being bypassed and going up the next line. So it's a bit of both. So we've just got... A resistor in position A. Exam circuit. We have an error in the examination of the circuit because now position B is... Because <laughs> now it's not working again. Hi, wee Bob. <laughs> this feels like being at work. Yeah, probably for anyone who knows coding. Yeah, it probably is. Um, We have an error in the circuit code for, for the circuit check. And the circuit is saying there's zero ohms across it, so that's not good news. 
So, um, we've just put a resistor in and now it's saying that there's nothing in that position. It should be putting where we've got here, uh, this percentage here. It should be uh, doing a quick check there because we should have 1000 ohms and we don't. We can work this out, um, but at the moment, get charred resistor from circuit. Take that out. Get fried resistor from circuit. I was already holding it. You're not already holding the fried resistor in inventory. We're still holding the red 1000 ohm resistor. That's why we're getting the issue. Okay, we're now holding a burned resistor in charge. Get fried from circuit. I was already holding it. No, you're not. No, you're not. No. Fried resistor. I know why that's happening. It's the get. Yeah, one, two, four, zero. We have an issue with. Uh, if I just add in an extra item this this would work so I know why the fried resistor is not working but that does mean that we have an issue as well so we have an issue with the put code still one because it's not we're still holding the red resistor when we told when we said we weren't going to be okay where are we okay oh that's why um, edit one two five three zero object position percent edit one two five four zero we've got a percentage that's what all it is edit one two five five zero <coughs> run Load. Our name is test. Get burned resistor from circuit. Get red resistor from box. Put red in circuit. Position A. Fix the red resistor into position eight on the circuit using the multi-tool inventory. We are now not carrying the red resistor. Exam circuit. And now position A says one thousand. In position A was a red one thousand ohm resistor. So the circuit is starting to work. And now, according to my multi-tool. The current resistance across the circuit was 96.7 ohms, which means the code is working. So, we need the exam box. Get a yellow resistor from box. Get charred resistor from circuit. You're not already holding the charge resistor. Already holding. No, you're not. Right. We have a problem. And I'm not sure what the, why it's a problem. We've taken a resistor out and everything was fine. So let's save episode one for the moment. Lol, sorry, I feel the frustration. Yeah, it, it's weird. It, it's really weird, Wee Bob. Um, the code was working, and then it wasn't working. And then earlier on, we had some code that worked. And then when we saved the file and tried it again, the code didn't work. It's just really, <laughs> really weird. 
It's probably not the best that we're trying to do this at 5 to 10 on a Sunday night, but uh, <laughs> it's just, oh man, it's just one of those, it, it's weird and I don't, I don't get why some of these problems are coming up. But uh, let's quickly save the file to hard drive because we need to do that. Run. I'm just going to test something. Let's load this again. Load the test. Because I have a horrible feeling that we can get that charge resistor out of that circuit as long as it's the first one we can get. Get charge resistor from circuit. I took the charge resistor from position B on the circuit. Get fried resistor from circuit. I was already holding that. So, if I run again, and we load the test so we don't have to go through everything else, load the test. Get fried resistor from circuit. I took the fried resistor from position C on the circuit, but we couldn't get the fried resistor just a moment ago. Get charred resistor from circuit. I was already holding that. So, there's something wrong with the get command for the circuit. But, at least we know that. That's the code for the circuit, so it's not there. List, uh, blah, 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 blah. where's the get code? 10170210240. Okay, let's have a look at where we're talking about for the circuit. Where's, okay, here we are. If write string equals from circuit, then go to 12300. Okay, we'll go to one. Which is what? Okay. Okay, get from the circuit code. List one two three zero zero to one two four zero zero because that's the code. From get from the circuit code. I could not see the circuit, appropriate tool. In the current RAM, blah blah blah. The uh, appropriate tool C percent equals zero. Got it equals two. Got Okay, that's not going to be saying I've all, I was already holding that. So that is the get code. 10170 to 10240. This is weird. Why does it tell me I'm already holding that? There. Right, that's why, that's why. Right, it's not resetting C. Right, I, I see what's going on here, right. <clears throat> okay, I see what's going on. Our problem is about... Uh, Got it. We can do this. Uh, edit 10182. The problem that we have is 
C% percent is already set and it shouldn't be, so we need to check for that. So I'm resetting it in 10182, then in 10210, if object position C% percent equals minus 1 and C% percent greater than 0, Uh, see you later, wee Bob. Have a good night. So, if object position of C% percent equals minus 1 and C% percent is greater than 0, which is what we need it to be, because we've already reset it, that means that uh, C percent, if C% percent is greater than 0, it means that we've run the check and we've found an object. Then we say, I was already holding that. Else, keep going run. This should work. Go to save game. Test. Get burned resistor from circuit. Took the burned resistor from position A in the circuit. Get charred resistor from circuit. I took a charred resistor from position B in the circuit. Get fried resistor from circuit. I took the fried resistor from position C on the circuit. We are now getting somewhere. Inventory. Drop box. Get box. Can't pop box. Now we're getting somewhere. So let's see if we can make this circuit work. So we. In order to make this circuit work, due to the fact that we're running the circuit's uh, resistance off actual physics, we need a 1000 ohm resistor in position A, a 1000 ohm resistor in position C, and a 552 ohm resistor in position B. So if we examine circuit, the moment at the moment it's empty. So we need exam box got a 1000 ohm resistor, another 1000 ohm resistor, and another resistor. So, get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Which position on circuit? Position A, because it's 1000 ohms. Get blue resistor from box. Now, the blue resistor is... Uh, Cont uh, 1000 ohms, so that needs to go in position C. In circuit. Position C. Get yellow resistor from box. And according to this, the yellow resistor is 552 ohms. Put yellow resistor in circuit. In position B. Fix the yellow resistor into the position B on the circuit using the multi-tool exam circuit. I <laughs> mismatched in 12412. Edit 12142. Old Star Gaming says, I've got to go now too. I'm on a two-week training course in robotics with an exam on Friday, so I need to sleep and pay attention. Good luck there, OSG. Uh, good luck on your exam. All the best. Uh, have a good night. All right, we have a type mismatch. Why? Why do we have a type mismatch? What's wrong? I don't see a problem there. There's nothing wrong with that. Save episode one. Not entirely sure what the uh, error is there, but we'll keep going.
Uh, Patrick thinks it's the uh, semicolon and colon next, next to each other, but that just means a break in the uh, in the value, and then a break in the print command without going on to another line. A semicolon after something uh, for a, for a print command just means don't drop to the next line, but when when you use the next print, it should work. Um, run. I think we've got it working there. I hope so. But for some reason it didn't set the flag off when we were doing it, so we need to know what's going on. Run test. Get burned resistor from circuit. Get charred resistor from circuit. Get fried resistor from circuit. Exam circuit. Nothing in any of the things. Yep. Okay, save. So file name is test. Just updating the save file now so that we don't have to do that bit about taking all that stuff out of the circuit since we now know that it is actually working. So, get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit in position A. Get blue resistor from box. Put blue resistor in circuit in position C. Get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit in position B. That should have set off the thing, so it didn't, but it didn't. Exam circuit. Type mismatch one two one four two. List one two one four two. I don't get why this is happening. Oh, that's why. Yeah, that works. But now it's fine. Okay, the uh, problem wasn't uh, major. You can't print the uh, contents of a uh, uh, a real number and then add on to the end of it a character. That's the problem. That was why it was type mismatch. It was a. I should have. I should have understood by type mismatch because I was trying to print one type of thing plus another type of thing together, and you can't do that. So. Drive DF naught uh, save run load file oh, test okay inventory want to do a crowbar burned resistor charge resistor fired resistor exam circuit zero ohms across the whole thing. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. I feel like we've been on with this circuit for ages. Put it in position A. Check in position A. Blah blah blah. Exam circuit. Now it's got a thousand ohms in position A. Get blue resistor from box. Put blue resistor in circuit on position C. Fix the blue resistor exam circuit. Now 
we've got uh, 111 ohms across. Get yellow from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit in position B. Fix the yellow position. Exam circuit. But B's not working. So that's why it's not setting everything off. B is not working on the circuit code. Okay, so that's okay. We, we, we know what's going on now. Uh, print the circuit on the screen. 1, 2, 1, 0, 0. 2, 1, 2, 3, 0, 0. Let's have a quick check. Where is, where's the thing about B? So, just having a quick look at uh, all the stuff. 12. Okay. That should have worked. There is no. Okay, I'm just having a quick look at this uh, stuff. What we've got here is uh, a load of if checks on the position of certain items. Uh, if, cert if object position of uh, if position of object thirteen is minus ten, which is position A, then the uh, resistance of uh, position A is six hundred and one because uh, object thirteen is a six hundred and one ohm resistor. Fourteen is a four hundred and seven ohm resistor, so the object the resistance is fourteen. Uh, 15, 16, and 17 are the burnt ones, so we don't need to worry about them. So 12 is 552. If position is 12, I don't get why it's not working because it's working for positions A and positions C, but not for position B. So what's wrong with position B? So I'm going to just add in one extra thing. And it's 12120. Print RA. Print RB. Print RC. Run. Load. Our name is test. Examine circuit. Right. R A R B and R C are zero because nothing's in the circuit. So get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Spell circuit right. Put red resistor in circuit. We'll put it in position A. Checking position A. Exam circuit. 1000 because it's a 1000 ohm resistor. Get yellow from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit. We're going to put it in position B. Exam circuit. And it is set to zero. Even though we know that position B has a 552 ohm resistor in it. Get 
yellow resistor from circuit. Took the yellow from resistor. Put yellow resistor in circuit. We put it in position C, exam circuit. It doesn't do anything. Hi, Cartmans. Good to have missed most of it. Oh, we're going to be gone for a while yet, Cartman. Don't worry. Okay, we have position C with a yellow 552 ohm resistor in it. But it doesn't seem to think that there's anything in it. So, get yellow resistor from circuit. Could not see a yellow resistor from circuit. Exam circuit. But it's in there. Get yellow resistor from the circuit. Took the yellow from it. Must have misspelled circuit or something like that. Uh, get red resistor from circuit. Put red resistor in circuit. Let's put it in position C. Exam circuit. It understands the yellow, the red resistor. Put red. In position B. Exam circuit. Okay. The circuit code is kind of working. We can move the red resistor around and get... Oh. Oh. That's not good. B is now setting to 1,000... The position B is now set to 1,000 ohms, but it shouldn't be. Oh, it should be. That's okay. I'm, I'm getting confused. We've put it in position B. Right. So the code is working in terms of the red resistor, but not in terms of any of the other resistors. So we have a problem. But we know where it is now. So list... Um, Oh, that's the print circuit on screen for one two one zero zero. Okay. It's all to do with the lens. Right, let's Okay, we need to take out our if objects being think it's to do with the fact that we've put a load of thens in. I hope we can just take them all out. Uh, one two one one six. I just want to take out. I mean, 
these nails on the end. Edit one two one one seven. Edit. Uh, I have a feeling it's all of these that I've got uh, ifs and thens without elses. Again, the stuff that we've done before, which we've had problems with. And take this out. And we've got an if check that's got a you no know, space in it and all sorts of basically every single part of this has got a spelling mistake and hasn't turned up until now when we've had an issue. Come on, let's Okay, that should work. Run. I hope this works. I really, really do hope this works. Load. Exam circuit. Okay, so we do, we do need all those thens. One two one one three. We've got to put all the thens back in. Let's hope this works. It's one of these issues that we just didn't. we had a spelling mistake. Uh, two words were run together. It's a bit of a mess in here. One two one one. This is what happens when you code everything late at night, isn't it? Right, let's hope this works. I think we've got it now. I think it was just the fact that we had a spelling mistake where if and uh, the code was all run together and were causing all kinds of problems. Let's just hope so. Okay, exam circuit. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's looking good. Get red resistor from box. Get blue resistor from box. Get yellow resistor from box. Get yellow from box. Inventory. We're holding th lots of stuff now. Put red resistor in circuit in position A. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position B, exam circuit. Position B is still not working. Put blue resistor in circuit. In position C, exam circuit. Right, positions A and C are working. Position B is not working. So, we still have a problem with position B. I don't know why. And this is weird now. It's just getting odd. What is. Uh, that's a position number 12. So let's have a look and see if we can find a 12. We haven't. Okay. And the code is just the same. But it's not. <laughs> it's not the same. The only ones that don't have an else are the ones that, that aren't working. Okay, edit one two one one two. Else. 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 Edit. One two one one three. Else. It's the if then else thing again. 
that's what it is. One, two, one, one, nine. Come on, come on. I hope this works. My goodness, I really do. Okay, run. We're just going around in circles, aren't we? Hopefully this will work. Hopefully this hasn't put you off writing your own uh, adventures, by the way. Found name test. Okay, yeah. Get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit in position B because it's the only one that didn't work. Exam circuit. It's working. Get yellow resistor from circuit. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position A, exam, circuit. Now we're getting somewhere. Get yellow resistor from circuit. Put yellow resistor in circuit. In position C, exam, circuit. Okay, we can now put it in all of the positions. So, from circuit. So let's put this in the right place. Put yellow resistor in circuit. In position B, get red resistor from circuit. No, get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. In position A. Get blue resistor from box. Put blue resistor in circuit. In position C. Fix the blue resistor into position C on the exam circuit. Excellent. Now it's working. But well, it's not doing the correct check for us, so we need to alter some things. But it is now working. Episode one. We're getting somewhere. We are definitely getting somewhere because now the majority of it's working. We can put the resistors into the correct places. We can uh, take them back out. That's one two one zero zero to one two three zero zero. Where did we uh, print it? Where's the bit where we print? Okay, uh, buh, 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 buh. okay. edit one, two, one, two, zero. Print R, A, B, C. We take that out because we don't need to do that anymore. And then list the bit about um, the put command. We can put in a circle. List one two four zero zero to one two four nine zero because we don't need to have that uh, error checking bit where we're checking position A anymore. Okay, that's great. List four nine zero to one three zero zero. Right, where is it? Edit one two five seven zero. Oh, for goodness sake! Edit one two five seven zero. Right. Um, we now need the int command. I think it is for setting the integer. Where is? Uh... Okay. Int numeric expression. Yes. Was that just me losing stream? Yellow bell. Is everyone still here on the stream? It looks fine from my point of view. It says everything's still there. Let's just quickly check. Uh, guys, if you're still here, can you uh, put a comment? Okay, we need the integer now. Uh, Patrick says, Zoe, have you locked Jen in the attic so we can get this done? Patrick, I have not locked Jen in the attic so we can get this done. Jen is happily playing with her trains. Okay. Print int of RT four hundred and sixty four. Excellent. That's what we want. Episode one. Memory full. <laughs> Run. 
save episode one. Okay, I hope this is all going to work. Saving. Yep. File drives. Do you have not save? Okay, it's taken us two and a half hours, but I think we've got it. Load. Find is test. No offense to Jen for that. Oh, she would not take offense. She's happy playing around. Okay, exam circuit. Okay, we know what we need to do now. Get a red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Position A. Get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position B. Get blue resistor from box. Put blue resistor in circuit. Position C. Fix the blue C. Exam circuit. A, B, and C. 464 ohms. So why isn't it working? We know it's working. So why isn't it work? Why isn't it doing what we needed to do? Okay. Okay. Let's uh, one two five seven edit one two five seven zero. Print high. We now need to edit one two five seven zero. Else print hello goes there. Right, this sh that's a couple of quick error checks. Let's see what's going on here. Let's load. We've now got to do the resistors thing again. Sorry, guys. We've got to keep going until this works out. If we do can't get this uh, puzzle working, then we can't get the game working, basically. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Position A. Get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position B. Get blue resistor from box. Put blue resistor in circuit. Position C. Exam circuit. Okay. And the fact that we didn't get any of what we're supposed to have just got means that it's not even jumped to the to the check code which we needed to do. Uh, right, that's not good. One two four zero zero. At least we know what's going on. Okay, why isn't it doing that? <laughs> and it's not doing that because we're not going to the right place. That's okay. Okay, we're yeah. 12520. Edit 12520. We're sending it back to the prompt. Go to 12560. Edit Okay, what we're doing is the reason it wasn't working is we're going to the wrong place. To five, four, zero. Well, we've got here uh, print. I fixed the blah 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 into the position B on the circuit using the multi tool. Then it got go to three one eight zero. What we needed to do is go to an extra bit where it's a check. 
one two five four zero is where we want to go, not three one eight zero, because one two five four zero is to check whether the circuit is completed, and if it is, set the flag for computer is working, which is what we need the circuit to do, and we didn't do it. But that's a simple error. Uh, anyone could have made that mistake. Any person who's me could have made that mistake because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. 12520 shouldn't be changed yellow belly because that is the one for something not being right. So we save episode 1. Quickly save that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. When has it saved? Yes, yes it has. Right, drive and save to hard drive. How big is it? 30k still, still, still a lot of memory. Load. File name is test. And then we've got to do the resistors again. Make sure this all works. Okay, get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Position A. Get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit, position B. Hi, hello. It's doing the checks. So we now have the error messages coming up, hi and hello, which means it's going through the full check. Excellent. Resistance is yellow belly. It has taken... We've been on this uh, problem for three weeks, and you are the first person to make the Borg joke. Well done. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah that, that was a good one, actually, yeah. Well done. Get blue resistor from box. No, bock. No, there's no bock. Get blue resistor from box. Put blue resistor in circuit. In position C. Hi, hello. Exam circuit. Okay, they're in the positions, but it hasn't set the flag. Print flags percent five. Yeah. The circuit isn't being set, but we are getting the uh, the check where it's saying hi and hello, which means it's running the test. Print int RT four six four. I don't get it. I don't get it, guys. If the integer of RT equals four six four, then flags percent five equals one. Print with a loud hum the circuitry word back to life. Go to 3180. Else print hello, go to 3180. We're getting hello, which means it's doing this check and it's saying int rt doesn't equal 464. But we know it does because I've just printed int of rt and it says 464. <sighs> Edit. One two five seven zero. Take out the bit that says print high, and let's have instead. U percent equals int RT. Let's have that. If U percent equals four six four. That should be fine. Run. Let's do it again. Let's see if this works. It should work. We've even got an else on the if check this time. So our usual commonplace error isn't going to happen. Let's do this again. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor 
in circuit. Position A, get red resistor. No, get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position B, get red resistor. No, get blue resistor from box. Put blue resistor in circuit. In position C. Hello. It's doing the check and saying hello. Guys, I, I don't, I'm, I'm at a loss. Print U percent. Print U percent is zero. I don't get it. RT is zero now. Why is it zero? What what's wrong? What's wrong? But it but if we I don't get it. Saying that no, it doesn't exist. Oh, where are we? Okay, edit one two five seven zero. Print RT. Print int RT. U equals int RT, print U percent. Right, let's just find what's going on here. This is weird. It seems to be just deleting the, the uh, total resistance, which it shouldn't be doing. Unless I've done something weird and wrong, and that's why. Because it shouldn't be doing that. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit in position A. Everything is zero. Exam circuit. But it's not. Everything's not zero because the total resistance is 96.7 ohms. So what's going on? Everything's zero. Why? Why is everything zero? List. 1, 2, 4, 0, 0 to 13,000. It's got to be something to do with how we've... Uh, Set this uh, subroutine up. Okay. Edit one two five six zero. We've got ghosts up there, so why don't we just do a go two one two one one one? Yeah, one two one one one. So we need to go to one two five seven zero. Yep. It's okay. Okay, list one two one 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 two one two three zero zero.
all, all I've done there is do, instead of doing a and Patrick saying looks like your spaceship is too badly damaged something. to be honest with you I'm thinking the same thing uh, what I've just done there is instead of having a go sub I've got to go to which shouldn't change anything but I have a feeling might change something Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. In position A, everything is set to zero. Exam circuit. Now even the exam circuit code isn't working. So, we've got a big issue here. And it's all to do with this last few pieces of code that we've put in. At 12560. Okay, CR% equals 1. Go to 12111, then CR% equals 0. And what? work now. Of course it won't, because the R percent isn't zero anymore. Right. Uh, edit. I want, want to five seven zero. And you've got to change that. Uh, nothing is working. I don't get why. I really don't get why. I, I, I honestly do not get it. <laughs> what if I just do one two five seven zero? If our t equals four six four point zero eight eight three nine eight, which is what I think it's going to tell me it is anyway. Run. I hope this works, I really do, but I have a horrible feeling it's all going to screw up again and again and again. Run and test. Exam circuit. Right, circuit examination code is working again. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit in position A. Everything is set to zero again. Of course it is, of course it is, because everything is messed up. Get yellow resistor from box, put yellow resistor in circuit, in position B, exam circuit. Get blue resistor from box, put blue resistor in circuit. In position C. But now we've got a resist and it's, it's not right. Exam circuit. Okay, now the now the uh now the resistance is 464.088398. That's what's coming up on screen. And I've got it set as 464.088398 on my paperwork. So list 12560 to 13,000. If RT equals 464.088398, which is what I've got written down, then it should work. But we're not getting that. 
We're not getting sent that. Even though we should be getting that. At some point, the resistance is met being messed up. We got a resistance sent because we got uh, some code and it said RT, and then when we printed the integer of RT, it was zero. It shouldn't have been. Something's going wrong. So we need to stop messing about. Edit. Uh, one, two, five, seven, zero. I don't know why, but uh, let's take out the prints because we don't need that anymore. We don't need U percent because we're not doing that anymore. We're not fiddling with anything anymore. run it again. Let's see what happens. We should be getting the resistance this time. We're not changing anything, we're just using an if check on the resistance. Get red resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit in position A. Now we've got a resistance of zero. Exam circuit. The resistance across is 96.7. But we've just been told it was zero because we put the print up. But we've got a resistance across the circuit of 96.7 and we're being told it's zero. So at some point, the resistance is being set to zero. Why is it being set to zero? List 121002121. To three zero zero, why is it being reset? It's set it reset at one two one one one, which it should be because we're about to change everything. Oh. <laughs> okay. No. Uh one two 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 zero. The reason that we're getting the problem is that we're not jumping to the right positions. Uh list one two one zero zero to one two two zero zero. We're jumping out too early one doing the calculations. Edit one two one two zero. Then go to Right, let's we're gonna be alright now. One two 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 zero. List one two 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 zero two one three zero zero zero. Doesn't really matter where we scroll down to. Uh do, 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 do. One two two three five if C R percent equals one then go to we don't know. List one two 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 zero to one three zero 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 I need to know where where to scroll down to. Right, one two two three five. If CR percent equals one, then go to one two five seven zero. Else, go to one two two four zero. Okay, run. I think we've got it this time, guys. I think we may have worked it out because basically I was getting it to jump back out to the other code too early. We weren't doing the full calculation, so nothing was being updated on the total resistance, even though the total resistance was being calculated if we checked through the circuit. Get red resistor. And that explains why when we put in the uh, 
the resistors into the circuit and examined at one point. It updated, but it had the wrong resistance being sent back. So that's it from box. I think we've got it. Put red resistor in circuit in position A. 96.7741936. Exam circuit. And that's the resistance. Get yellow resistor from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position B. Yes, it's done. Get blue from box. Put blue resistor in circuit. Position C. machine why <laughs> no no you can't exam circuit the resistance the resistance is cracked the resistance is cracked print RT print int RT464 edit one two five seven zero take there is we don't need that anymore if int of RT The circuitry is working. What was RR? I'm, I'm not sure what's R, what do you mean, uh, Yellow Belly? We don't have an R an RR, do we? Print RR? Yeah, there's nothing in RR. Print RT is 464.0. Blah, blah, blah. Print int of 464. Uh, print of int of RT even. 464. It says R in it. One two five seven zero. Yeah. If integer Oh Yeah. Good spot there, yellow belly I print of integer of RT. I hope it is just a typo causing this problem. I really, really do. Okay, let's see if at this point, episode one. List one, two. Five seven zero. Okay, it's now int of RT. Drive DF not save. Oh, let's hope this works. Let's really hope this works. Load. Test. Get yellow, not red, resistor from box. Put red resistor in circuit. Position A. Get yellow from box. Put yellow resistor in circuit. Position B. Get blue from box. Put blue. With a loud hum, the circuitry word back to life. It was a typo. Just like every other thing that we've had. <laughs> Guys, we have a working circuit, exam circuit. South. Down. Exam wall. You were right, Yellow Belly. Well done. Thank you so much. The main internal door indicator lights were shining green. The computer car error light was shining green. We have now completed that.
flag, which means the computer will be working. The machine was charred but still seemed able to function. A panel had fallen off the side of the machine, exposing a circuit. The exposed circuit was fixed and functioning correctly. <sighs> Guys. Not bad considering I'm half blind. Uh, but to be honest with you, if I took these off, I wouldn't be able to see. I can't even see what's on the screen right in front of me now without my glasses. So I know the feeling. Resistance isn't futile, it's voltage divided by current. <laughs> that is true. Nice physics joke there. Okay, we now need to... Ch to uh, we've got it. We've, we've finished the code for the resistors. We now need to uh, make sure next week, because I'm going to have to stop at this point, where it's now 11 o'clock, we have fixed this. We can now move on to the rest of the game. Next week is going to be a big one. We're going to get the computer working to make sure we can finish the game. That's the, that's the thing. Once we've got the computer working, it means that everything else can fall into place. So, save episode one. Guys, this has been amazing. 30k still. We still... Oh yeah, we do need to remove hello. 12570. Else go to. Yes. It clears it all her save episode one. Yeah, there's definitely an error in the CPC's basic. It's not clearing the memory properly, which is why I can't save. It hasn't got the memory left to save the file, even though the file is only 30k and it's got 41. That's what the problem is. Okay, drive, df0, save. Right. We're getting somewhere now. So, the computer is working, but we need to change the information about the computer, which we can do with a flag, uh, flag check uh, instead of... Uh, just a standard response on examining a computer. We need to be able to get data off the computer, which is another flag check. So next week we're going to be moving on with the game and it's going to be, oh my goodness, it's going to be pretty good. How Hi, Jen. You, how are you doing? You know you that thing that we've been stuck on for three weeks? Oh, have you found out what did you do wrong? Did you type something in wrong and misspell you've been, it? You've been watching the live stream. I know you have. So you know that we had a spelling mistake. All oh, right. What did you misspell? Oh, all kinds of things. Um, <laughs> oh, you spelt there with T H E I R when it should have been T H E R E. Guys, in case you haven't uh, met her before, this is my other half. I'm going to bring the screen up like this. Uh, this is Jen. She puts up with me for the for the majority of the week. <laughs> yes, but guys, I do, yes. Thank you so much. This has been uh, the big problem for the game. It's the it's the core thing that needs to work and then the game can continue. So basically it's the difficulty ramp to go to the next stage. We have just defeated a boss basically. <laughs> and uh, next week I think it's going to be a bit better. I'm saying that early and probably jigsing it but I think we are going to be getting on really, really well getting a, a lot of good work done. So I hope next week you'll join us again and that would be great. <sighs> I'm so glad. Right. What I've got to do now is... I did save this, didn't I? Yeah, don't forget to save. <laughs> Not after all right. the work you've put in. We have just saved it on there. So save uh, save the disk. Yeah. So I can close down uh, Java CPC. And uh, now all I'm going to do... Uh, I wouldn't mind a can of Coke, though, if you don't mind. Yeah, okay. Can of Coke. Uh, let's quickly... Uh, I'll get you all guys uh, get a copy of this of course you do so where is it on my desktop um, other no documents Arbiter 1 episode 6 don't do this again now oh now that's an interesting point <laughs> guys I have no idea what we've just been uh, changing desktop uh, quickly list everything by date modified which one have we just changed it's not one to scroll. 
Octawon.dsk20. So, right, that's okay. Otherwise, right. Octawon. Now we see why I've had so many spelling mistakes after one episode eight. We can move that into Dropbox, which will now update. Well, you think it would update. Uh, copy Dropbox link. Uh, there you go, guys. Uh, that's the link for getting the game. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this. It's been a bit of an oddity, hasn't it? It's been a roller coaster with going up and down. Wow. So. There we are, episode 8. Uh, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Enjoy CPC if you haven't seen it already. I hope you enjoyed it if you have seen it. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a hell of a time. <laughs> see you next time, guys. Bye for now.